All right, about to kill this superior absolute demon. What we get? All right, dark totem middle. Oh, I got an absolute whip. Very nice. Hey, <laughs> hey, very good. Yo, what? Another whip. Oh man, I don't even get to use my absolute tentacles fast enough to degrade all the whips I've gotten so far recently. So I guess I will have an amazing whip collection yeah coming up soon oh dude the whip dream dude alkin would jizz over this bro for reals i know that man loves his whips but i do love my whips as well first ever three whip drop task on this account i think i've gotten this maybe a few times back in the day but it's so long ago I've forgotten so I finished this amazing absolute demon task and I'm gonna go ahead and check out what my existing stack is four wow dude I'm at seven absolute whips that's crazy amount I'm never running out of tentacle charges man ever oh snap boys Lee Kuz grow from Dark Beast awesome man uh, this will be Master Clue 50 once I cash this in. So Dark Beast task is done and I'm now at 19 million Slayer experience. Next one, 20 mil. Alright, I'm pretty sure this is Master Clue 50 so let's pop this one open. Oh wow, it's 415k for a reward like this? I do like the- <gasps> Oh my god! What? Oh my god, what? Yo! What the f- Holy shit! What? Are you fucking serious? <laughs> what? Oh my god, I'm s- uh, Oh man, I- I don't have no idea. Yo, I thought I was being trolled or something. I was like- Oh my god, dude. I don't know what to say, man. Alright, first things first, I'm sorry to KC, because I know this man has been looking for this pet. So, uh, my condolences to him, but... Yo, this is crazy, dude. I got a freaking Bloodhound pet. Oh my god, dude. One of the rarest pets in the game. <laughs> this is real. I'm not dreaming. Okay, this is real. So, let me go and ensure this. 500k insured all right okay this this is uh really mine it really happened well it's dead anyway so let's check it out oh wow feels bad another torn press and saltpeter of course all right 116 try let's go let me check out my uh, torn press scroll let's uh see where, where we got here 30 i have 30 now wow the collection is uh, very strong right now. Good Alex, if I ever resort to, uh, you know, alking it or something. <laughs> Damn, 16,000 points, dude. Before the uh, head. Jesus, this is going to be a PR in terms of solo points. Looking forward to that. There we go, he's dead. Wow, 34k points. Damn, bro. That's like the highest point rate I've ever done, though. This is such a godly raid except for the ice demon, but super high point raid though. Never mind, I think I'm gonna beat the other point that I just got from the last raid. This has potential to be like a 35k point raid. There we go, it's dead. Wow, look at the points, holy shit. 35k, 400, Jesus. Insane points, let's see if uh, that significantly uh, changed the price for this. 445k, yeah, so it's not really too exact. Doesn't scale that perfectly price wise, but I reckon you could maybe get up to 500k with this amount of points. The other one is. Oh, look! Holy shit! This, there's the Nibbler pet. Um, El Yam. Yeah, he's the second person in the game to have the uh, Nibbler pet, so. Yo, that's pretty cool to see. I've never seen that um, in game. Yeah, it's not bad looking, honestly. It's not that bad. Would have preferred a jab one, but yeah. Hey. 
Always nice to see an item. <laughs> that must be a decent split. Oh, hey. Thanks for the dry arrows, too. Alright, Smoke Devil Superior is dead, guys. Damn. Got a battle staff. Actually, this is my second Absolute Superior for the day. And it's dead. Alright, finish another total. Number 10. So I saved up on uh, 10 totems now, so I think I'm gonna split this up in two days to five a day. So yeah, let's go and see if we get anything good from Skotizo. Number four, let's go. Uh, oh my God. I actually got the Skotizo bet. <laughs> oh wow, dude. What the fuck? Yo, that's two pets in uh, two days. Uh, 40 KC. I think the average. What's the what's the Skotizo pet average? Hold on. I'm not as surprised though because I know it's not that rare. That that's why. It's one in 65. Okay. Oh yeah. The reason why I went in my inventory is because I have my uh my bloodhound on me. So, well that's freaking sick. I got another pet. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Well this is gonna be a crazy crazy video. That's for sure. Jesus Christ. So all that's left. I mean that would be interesting for me to get. From this boss would be like a Dark Claw. I mean, I would always do Skotizo though. It gives a lot of good drops and stuff, so. Alright, let me uh, go ahead and insure this bad boy here. There we go. I got that all insured. But yeah, here's a list of all the pets now. So we got four boss pets. Actually five if you count Skotizo now. One skilling pet. One bloodhound pet. Sorry, that's so nice, man. We got a whole row of pets now, man. Sick. Alright, so this is my 10th Skotizo of the day. I just decided to uh, rush all 10. Pretty nice pet today from it as well, but I would also like a Lee Clue Scroll if anything. Let's see if uh, it's possible. No. Nada, but I always like the resources drop, so today's a pretty good day already, thanks to Skotizo. Look at the time for this, dude. I am. Wow, that's insane. Jesus Christ. Like the floor, first floor was like five minutes, dude. Damn, that was insane. But no drop though, that one. But I just beat my personal best by like four minutes. Crazy, huh? Only because of the crazy good layout but and good execution. But yeah, GG. Not bad at all. Nice, Elite Clue Scroll. Awesome. You know what I'm doing after this task. All right, second Necroarch. Ah, uh, okay, got a totem. Not bad. Uh, this is Master Clue after the uh, Bloodhound pet, so let's check it out. Oh, damn. All right, let me just examine the text box to see if I'm missing. Okay, no, it's it's like what 160k. That's the worst Master Clue I've ever gotten. All right, about to finish Superior Gargoyle. Come on, let's see what we get. Holy shit, I swear to you, this is not a repeat clip. Second superior of the knights. Well, actually third. Alright, I made another totem though. Cool. Damn, dude. In one task, basically, I made two totems. Hell yeah, man. Skoltizo grind coming back soon. Alright, guys. I am curious to see how many insta shards I have and... Oh yeah, I have a lot, man. Slayer just gives me so much. Yeah, I've been using the outlet quite a bit. Sometimes I don't feel like bursting absolute demons. You know, usually late at night, kind of want to chill. So art light's good for that. So uh, yeah, let's try to get this back up to ten thousand charges. I mean, at this rate, it seems like my ancient shard rates that I'm getting is gonna be enough to upkeep my art light. So. Oh yeah, check that out, guys. Eighty-two. Rune crafting, man, very nice. It's been a while, but yeah, my blood runes are starting to run a little bit low. Haven't done many uh, blood veil tasks recently, so didn't get that from them. But yeah, that's nice. Always good to get some rune crafting. 250k though to the next one. Damn, it's gonna be a, a eternity for the next one. In today's episode, I got arguably one of the most rare things you could possibly get in old school RuneScape. So I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys don't know about this pet because it is so rare. And this might be your first time seeing it on a video or something. 
and it is a 1 in 1,000 chance that you can get it from a master coup. But that might not really give you an idea of how rare it is, so I will show you a statistics that Jagex Lottie uh, posted on her Twitter on May 16th of this year, so that was a little bit over a month ago. And this statistics shows you all the pets that is currently in the game, the numbers, and which type of characters has which. So let's go to the Bloodhound statistic. There's a total of 305 Bloodhounds in the game. Maybe like 310, 320 now because now it is about you know a month past the date of this statistic. And only 20 Iron Man has the Bloodhound pet. So I might be like the 22nd Iron Man in the game to have a Bloodhound pet. That is super low because if you compare this to the pet numbers for the other boss pets and skill pets, you can see just how rare it is compared to even those things. If you thought something like, you know, bossing pets like God Wars pets were rare, oh no man, Bloodhounds, oh man, that is much, much more rare. So you got the most common boss pet at Kraken 17,000 and even the more rare pets like the God Wars are still in the thousands. And only Fedion, Omelette, and Penance Queen, along with the Bloodhound numbers, are under the thousand. So, yeah, they're insanely rare. And I guess Bloodhound, statistically speaking, is the most time consuming pet to get out of all of these pets. Even the skilling ones, you know, all of that. But in terms of numerical value, though, it's the second rarest because the Nibbler from Inferno is definitely the rarest right now in number because there's only two in game. But I am super grateful and fortunate to be an owner of one of these pets in the game because wow, that's just amazing, dude. And also, it's a really good looking pet as well. Like, man, it's cute as hell. But anyways, I'm done with today's video, guys. Still really dry at rates. I'm currently like 130 plus, but I'm pretty sure all my RNG has been sucked up by the pet RNG. So I probably won't see uh, any PVM items for like a long ass time. But anyways, I'll catch you guys later with another video in a few days. If you want to stay up to date, feel free to subscribe to the channel. That way, you'll know exactly when the next video comes out. But otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And I will see you soon, hopefully, with some board games in a few days. Take care and bye-bye.